The traditional view of innovation and creativity is that people are born with it. But I strongly believe that innovation and creativity could be taught. Innovation is a blend of different disciplines and growing up I really loved art. I loved painting and drawing. When I studied art at school, I had to do a particular project and I chose to do it on space. And I looked at space in terms of different planes and abstract and how different artists like Picasso broke down a painting to look at it from different angles, to combine it in different ways. And I think innovation is like that. A successful career in science is understanding that our experience, our knowledge set, our life experience, it brings to solving a problem a certain set of skills, but others in the team also contribute to their experience and being able to tackle the problem. That, for me, has led to some really exciting and successful collaborations. Having children, from a point of view of a career woman, <laughs> taught me a lot about time management and prioritizing, and I think I actually became more productive when I had kids because I always have a to-do list even before I had children, but my to-do list, I was a lot stricter with it. Um, I respected my own time a lot more and that of other people, but I actually improved in my productivity as well. I love the work that I do. When I attended uh, graduation, a lot of people said this was life-changing, and that may sound very cliche, but you know, we had people who entered the program as a scaffolder, and left as a detailed technical designer that will be working in the frigate program. <laughs> and we saw those people just grow 10 feet tall. <laughs> I think for everybody, they will go through challenging times in their career and I'm no different. I think at those times, I try to let my work do the talking for me. I just put that into positive energy and work as hard as I can. Science has so many possibilities and it is a super exciting time in Australia currently. You know, there's so much opportunities in space, renewables, defense, advanced manufacturing. I mean, we have a $90 billion shipbuilding program and it's not just heavy metal putting it together. There's so many sophisticated areas within shipbuilding, a lot of engineering, a lot of IT. There's so much opportunity for science and my era is innovation. It's that common thread that goes across all areas because we know the future is uncertain. But if you approach anything with an innovative mindset, you could be resilient and strong and ready for whatever change comes in the future.